This is my egg incubator. I made it out of a coffee can. Um, it's almost like a big old cup of coffee there. Um, so here's the uh, here's the reptile thermometer I've got for it. It's uh, just mounted on a little board here. Um, this is just all the wires bunched up. The sensor for the reptile thermometer comes around and goes in here. And let's open this up. And so here's the reptile thermometer and then the little sensor wire comes up and then comes in here. And this is where it reads the uh, temperature so it can turn the light bulb on and off which is my heat source. Um, the light bulb, underneath the light bulb is a, you'll notice there's a gap here, there's a hole underneath the bottom of the can. So that way the air can go underneath here and it comes up from underneath the light bulb and it also, I've got an air hole right here and I've got an air hole right there right there where the uh, wire goes in and so what that does is that the air can come in and it can come up through it and if you'll notice here is a piece of PVC pipe this is a uh, chimney it's uh, uh, so what happens is this uh, creates an updraft and it sucks the air in and it makes the air come up and go straight through so that way I can get a good uh, airflow through it and the eggs don't suffocate uh, this is just a piece of, uh, this is just regular half inch PVC. I took one of those uh, uh, PVC, like the, the end plugs, and I drilled a hole in it. And then this is just a uh, an adapter, and this is just a little, it just sticks in there. Um, and then the eggs themselves go into this, this is like a, uh, this is like a little pan I got at the, uh, the thrift shop and I uh, cut it down to size and uh, and to hold it to keep this pan from falling onto the light bulb I put these uh, stainless bolts all around the perimeter and so that way it makes like a nice little makes a nice little shelf for the thing to sit on now this uh, this is my egg tray. The egg tray, let me dump the stuff out here. The egg tray is at the bottom here. I've got, these are just paper towels that I've cut into a circle. And this is to hold the water. Um, I found that it's, humidity is really important to uh, raising the eggs. And so the, uh, so I've got, so as the as the light bulb comes on, it heats up everything, and then the moisture that's in the paper towels will uh, come up and keep the eggs moist. Um, this is a just like a little plastic ring off of the butter tub, and you can see I I originally start off with a whole bunch of holes and tried some other stuff. It's just the egg tray of of just this, but I ended up just cutting it out, and then that's to this ring is to keep the uh, this ring is to keep this piece of mesh keep the blah eh, let me start again so the ring holds this mesh up so you can see when I put an egg in there this is a wooden egg when I put a wooden egg in there look at that it's suspended or it's held above the uh, the paper towels that have all the water in them and then the um, and that way the the moisture can keep the uh, uh, keep the the air in there humid, and then the egg won't dry out. So when I run this thing, it's you know I can put in there's a bunch of wooden eggs. The uh, I can put in a you know a bunch of eggs. I could put in probably a couple. Of them. So I could just have them in there, and I can you know just reach in and turn them like that. The, uh, the air that comes up, I found I got to make sure to leave a gap all the way around it so that way when the air comes up and then goes up the chimney, it doesn't, if I have it over like this, like 
you know, against the edge like that, the, the air doesn't flow properly. And I really need to have, I really need to make sure that there's a gap all the way around it so that uh, when the air is coming up through, it comes up all the way around the sides and then goes up the chimney. Um, and here, and let's uh, plug it in and see what it looks like when it's uh, when it's on. So plugged it in, and then you can see that down in there is that's the light. And then I put the lid on like that. Oh, I put water in the bottom, and I always keep uh, as far as the water goes. I always keep the the lots of water in the bottom, just enough to keep the whole paper towels moist. And that way, it'll uh, it seems to be about the right humidity. It really, it really needs to be really humid to make those eggs uh, make those eggs hatch. Otherwise, the uh, the eggs dry out. And then uh, for pigeon eggs, um, I've been running this thing at about a hundred, and it's uh, and it works pretty good at uh, at a hundred. The uh, if you hatch the eggs and then you want as a brooder. You can actually turn the temperature down, and then you can uh, you can actually raise baby squabs in there if you want. But I I uh, uh, I usually don't. So so anyway, that's uh, that's my uh, that's my homemade egg incubator.